Welcome to the Sugar Red Productions Online Sugar Art School. I'm Sharon Zambito, your host, and today I want to take you through the different features that the website has to offer and show you how they function and how to use them. So the first thing we need to do is to sign in using the sign in box on the upper right hand side of the screen. You just click on that and it has my password and my username saved. But if you do forget your password, you can click on this link here and it will take you to a form to enter your username or your email address and it will send you a new password. So let's go back to sign in and it's put my password back in, click sign in and then you will notice it's asking me do I want to remember the password I said yes so once you're signed in you'll see your welcome back and your profile picture and some basic account details on the upper left hand side of all pages that way you know that you're logged in first we're going to look at tutorials by hovering over that in the main navigation bar and you'll see a drop down menu that shows you the different types of tutorials that we have to offer we have video tutorials, photo tutorials, member tutorials where you can upload your own, recipes and articles. And for each of those you'll see another sub drop down menu where you can choose how you want to display those items either by the most recently uploaded in that type of tutorial, by the most popular or the most viewed, or you can go to the main index of that particular type of tutorial. We're going to start with videos and I'll just show you real quickly if you click on most recent you'll get a reverse chronological listing of all the videos as they've been uploaded to the site and if you click on most popular it'll look very similar but you've got them in most popular or most viewed reverse order and then you can also click on the video index which will take you to the main index page where you'll see them listed by the different categories if you want to just browse the different categories and see which is in each of those. So if you click on any thumbnail it'll take you for the individual video page for that video. You'll see the video player and the video will load in that box depending upon your internet connection it might take a few seconds for the video to load. When you're ready to play you just click the button and the video will start to play. Our videos are configured so that they automatically play in HD or high definition which you can see by these pink initials HD but if you want to take it out of high definition you can click on that and it will go to standard definition mode which you might want to do if your internet's busy or a little slow and you're having trouble getting the videos to play smoothly you can always turn the HD on and off as you need to. The other thing that you can do is click this little X on the right hand side and that will take you to full screen viewing. And then if we want to turn HD back on we can do that. HD will give you a bit clearer picture but it also takes more resources from your computer to stream. Let's go back to small screen. The other thing that you can do if you're having any trouble with the videos playing because of like I said a busy internet connection or such you can click the pause button and then this gray loading button will continue to move to the right hand side as the video is being temporary loaded into your temporary files. You can just give this a few minutes and let the gray bar load all the way to the right and then click the play button again and that will help give you a smoother playback if you're having any problems. So let's pause this and take a look at some of the other information that's under each video you'll see the title, you'll see some segment time codes which basically breaks down the video into the different segments or topics within it and shows you where that time on the video counter starts for that segment so you can jump ahead to different segments based on these time codes as you wish. You'll also see a supply list which will often be hyperlinked to a source to purchase certain items and you'll also see a notes section where I elaborate on some further information related to the video and sometimes also link to other sources of information. You'll also see some tags at the bottom which is basically um, descriptive terms related to that video which help with searching. So if you click on that tag it'll take you to a list of other videos that also have that same tag. So it's a way of searching 
related information. To the right hand side, you'll also see thumbnails for other related videos which correlate in some way to the video that you're watching. So now let's go up and just take a look at one of the photo tutorials. We'll do photo tutorials most recent. And that'll show you the most recent reverse chronological order as they were loaded. We'll click on one of the photo tutorials and you will just scroll down and see the entire photo tutorial. And same thing at the bottom, you'll have related tutorials on the right hand side. You'll have your search tags underneath and You'll also have a back to top button, which will get you back up faster so you don't have to scroll all the way back up. And now I wanna show you uh, some other features that are available to you in this dark pink bar. You'll see this bar under every item of content in the website, under every video, every photo tutorial, article, recipe, every photo in the gallery, contributor bio, vendor bio, and even your own profile page. And what is located in this bar is the date that that item was uploaded, how many views it's had, how many comments there are, and then there's special three features on the side here. You can add any item of content to your favorites file. So if you click on that, you'll see that the little thumbs up icon comes up. And that puts a bookmark to this particular item in your favorites file, which is located in your profile. And we're gonna go back and have a look at that in a little bit, and you'll see how those are displayed. If you want to take it out of your favorites file, just unclick. You can also subscribe to any item by clicking the subscribe button. And what that's going to do is send you a notification to your email inbox anytime a comment is made on this item. So if you want to leave a question or if it's your own photo and you want to be notified when there are any comments to that item, just click subscribe. When you no longer want to get email notifications of comments, just click the unsubscribe button on that item. And then the other thing that you can do is click the print button and you'll get a beautiful print ready display of that page and you can just print per your usual method depending upon how you have your printer set up on your computer. So let's just go back up, I'll click the back to top button and we'll go back up to tutorials and we'll just take a quick look at the recipe index to show you how that's set up. Set up a little bit differently. The recipes and the articles are set up a little bit differently than the video and photo tutorials. You'll see here the index with the different categories. And then within each category, you'll see a scroll bar on the right hand side and you can scroll through and see all the recipes within that particular category. If you click on one that you wanna read, then Let's click on that and then the recipe will show up on the left hand side of your screen and on the right hand side all of the other recipes within that particular category are now here and you can continue to scroll through them. If you want to go back to the index just click back to index. And you'll see that the articles, let's see if I can pull up articles, article index is set up exactly the same way. And also with these you can also view them by most recent and by most popular. And again, we have our search tags underneath and we have our feature bar down here where you can add to favorites, subscribe and print. And if you wanna leave a comment, just click the show comments and it will scroll down open and you can go ahead and type in your comment. We'll just say great article. Click submit and now your comment will be displayed and you can of course read any other comments that might be under that item. And so now if I wanna to subscribe to this to see what other comments are left or if I asked a question about any particular tutorial and I wanna be notified when the answer comes, just click subscribe and now anytime a comment is left to this item, you're gonna be notified via email. The next item of content we're gonna explore is the forums where you can chat and interact with myself as well as other members. This is the forum homepage where you can see all the different categories or sub forums that we have. And then if you click on any one of those, it'll take you to the different individual threads that are under that category. On the right hand side for each thread, there'll always be a link to the very last post posted in that thread. And then if you want to leave a reply, you just scroll down to the bottom of that page and you can type in your reply, and we'll just say, great cake, 
Here is one I made. I can't type very well. And then I want to show you how you can add a photo to a reply. So here I want to show a cake that I made. I will click this browse button underneath attach file and then go to wherever my photos are and pick whatever photo I want to upload. You'll then see that it's attached and then just click the reply button and the photo and your text will show up in your reply. If you want to edit any of your posts, you just click edit post and you can go in and either change your text or if you want to take the photo off, you can click remove attachment, update, and then you will see that your post is now edited and the photo is gone. You can also subscribe to any of the content of the forums. And this you will do by using the subscribe icon. Now you can subscribe either to an individual thread. And if we wanted to subscribe to this thread, we would hit that subscribe button, which then takes you to your forum profile, which is different than your membership profile that we're going to explore in just a little bit. This is your profile page for the forum itself. And you can get to that by clicking on profile, which you'll see right here in the upper right hand side of the forum pages only. And I have admin because I'm an administrator, but on your pages you'll see home, profile, search, and log out. So anytime you click on the profile button there, it's going to take you to your forum profile. Here you can set up your signature, which will show up underneath all of your posts in the forums. You can have it say whatever you like, or you can link it to your Facebook page, or your website, whatever you like. It will also show you what you're subscribed to in the forums. So this shows you that I'm subscribed to the conference, and the conference is actually the entire forum. So anytime anything is posted in the forums, I'm going to get an email in my email box because I have subscribed to the entire forum, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a minute. You can also subscribe just to particular threads. So I'm subscribed to two individual threads as well as the entire conference. And at any time, you can unsubscribe to anything just by clicking the unsubscribe button there in your forum profile, and you'll no longer get notifications. So let's go back to the forum home. And while you're on the home page, you'll see the subscribe button here. So if you want to subscribe to the entire forum and get notified anytime anything is posted, you can click on that. When you click subscribe, it takes you to your profile, shows you what you are subscribed to. If you want to just subscribe to one particular category, like Cake Talk, we clicked on that category, clicked on subscribe, and it'll show us that we are now subscribed to the sub form of Cake Talk. And then if you want to subscribe just to an individual thread, you click on that individual thread, click on subscribe, and now you can see we're subscribed to that particular thread. So you have a lot of customization that you can do to what you want to be subscribed to, either individual threads, entire form categories, or the whole entire form, which we call the conference. So let's go back to the home page. You can also do a search for, through forum posts by just clicking on search. You can put in any term you're looking for. We'll just say cake. And you can either match the phrase, any of the words, all of the words. Click search. And then it gives you a listing of all of the threads that match your search. And of course, I put in the word cake. We're going to have a lot of search results for that since it's such a common term that we use here. And then if you click on home here, it's going to take you back to the forum home page. So the forums function somewhat as their own entity inside the larger membership website. Now I want to show you just a couple of more things that you can do in your replies in the forums. If you want to quote what someone said in a previous post in your reply, then just go ahead and right click that, highlight it and copy it. And then when you get down to your reply box, click on this little person that looks like a word balloon over it and you'll see these quote brackets. 
and your cursor will be in between. Paste the text into that, and then below that, just click your reply, hit reply, and then you'll see when your post appears, the quotation of what you're responding to will be above your actual response. Okay, so I want to show you just a few more things that you can do. We'll just type in some text here. And you can either bold, italicize, or underline by right-clicking and highlighting that and then clicking on the appropriate icon. You can also hyperlink to things. So if you want to show someone where they can buy something, you can type text. You can buy it here. Go to the URL of wherever you want to link them to. We'll copy that come back, highlight that text, click this little link or paperclip looking icon and this little URL box will come up. Go ahead and paste the URL there of where you want them to go shop. Click OK and then when you hit reply you'll see that this text is bolded and when you hover over this text with the hyperlink it'll then take you to the external website that you link to. And while we're here, you may notice these uh, reward ribbons, which automatically show up in your profile, and depending upon how many points you've accrued, 25, 50, 75, 100, and you accrue those points by uploading content into the website. And I'll show you that when we get into the profile section in just a little bit. And you can also use the top link here to go back to the top of the page. Let's go back to the home page and I'll show you how to start a new topic. Just click whatever category form you want it to be in. Click the new topic icon. Put your title in. Your text of the body. If you want to subscribe to this, your own thread, you can click subscribe. Or you can subscribe to the whole category or the whole form as we discussed before. If you want to add a photo, you would add it here showed you that just a few minutes ago and then you just click new topic and your new topic will now be displayed as the top thread because they're shown in reverse chronological order for that subcategory. So now let's pop on over to the photo gallery where you can upload your own photos and also see what photos other members have uploaded. Again you can choose to display either by the most recent photos, the most popular, or you can go to the main gallery index, which you see here. It has it broken down into all the different categories. And if you want to see all the photos in that category, just click show more and it will display them all for you. Now let's go back up. We'll go to gallery most recent. This is a convenient way to, to see what photos have been uploaded since the last time you were here. And if you click on the thumbnail, it'll take you to the full size version of that photo. And if you want to just keep clicking through from here, you can just use the next button and it will take you through the entire list, keeping them at full screen. You can also click back. You can go to the first photo in that category and you can also go back to the main index if you so choose. So let's just click on a photo and we'll see that underneath again you have the dark pink bar where you'll see the date that it was uploaded, the views, how many comments. You can add it to your favorites if you want to bookmark this photo to your favorites file so that you can get to it real quickly for future reference and you don't have to go searching for it. And you can also subscribe so that if you leave a question and you want an email notification when the answer is posted or if you just want to be kept abreast of any comments that are posted, click your subscribe. Let's go ahead and add it to favorites. I didn't do that. And then you can also see the description that was left by the member. And if you want to leave a comment, just click show comments and it will scroll and open for you to leave your thoughts. If you want to close the comments, just click hide comments and that will scroll back up. And then we can go back to the top of the page. Going back to the main navigation bar, you can click here if you want to be taken to our online shop where you can purchase DVDs or cake decorating supplies. This will take you to the Sugarhead Productions blog. 
and the resource drop down menu which we'll quickly go through. Uh, this takes you to the membership page which shows you all the information about joining which you have already explored since you're already a member. About us, we'll tell you about myself and the rest of our great Sugar Edge staff that's here to help you. Our frequently asked question page, this has a lot of information about what's available on the site, if you're having trouble getting the videos to play, problems with your password, and other commonly asked questions. We have testimonials from very happy customers that you can read and also hopefully pass on to your friends. And here's our contributor page. This shows you all of our wonderful contributors that we have here at Sugar Ed Productions who are providing you with great information from their talent. And if you click on any particular thumbnail, it'll take you to the full biography page for that contributor. And we really do hope that you will support our contributors and leave some comments and let them know how much you appreciate them sharing their talents with us. We also have a favorite vendors page where again you can click through and find out more information. These are vendors that I personally use and recommend their products. We also have a featured member page where we periodically pick by random draw a member to highlight and it includes the biography, your favorite recipe, photos of some of your cakes, links back to your website. So you can check out the featured member page. We only have one because we just started but uh, this will continue to grow and we'll always keep the list of previous featured members going so you can always look through and and see who's been featured. We also have a page that lists all the different events and classes around the world that we can keep up with what's going on as far as classes, cake shows, days of sharing and such. So you can always check that for recent events. And we also have an organizations page that'll show you all the different cake clubs and organizations across the country as well as across the world. So you can use this to try to find some clubs and organizations maybe in your area that you can be a member of. And there's also a forum thread in the forums where you can upload or add your particular club or information about any other events or clubs in your area. And if you upload it in the forum, we will then add it to the organization or events page. And then at any time you need help, you can get to us via this contact us button and it will take you to a form where you can submit your comments or questions or anything you need help with. You can contact us this way or you can also email us at support at sugaredproductions.com. Now let's spend some time going into the features of your account or your profile. You can get to all these individual features of your account two ways, either via this members drop down menu or you can click on the my account link under the welcome back message. That'll take you to your main my account page where you'll see some general account information on the right hand side and you'll see your personal information on the left which you can edit or change these things at any time if you want to put in a new address a new email or phone number, if you want to change your credit card information or even change your plan, you can do all of that on this page. Just make the changes you want and click save and it'll be saved to your account. Next let's look at the profile editor. So we'll go in there and that'll show you the page where you can put in your personal profile information like your opening statement, your about me, your links to your website, your Facebook page, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube. You can enter as much or as little information there as you want and just click save. And this is going to show up on your pro public profile page, which we're going to look at next. You can see that here by clicking view my profile. And this is your public profile page that other members are going to see when they click on your profile. And as well, this is a public page. So if you want to email this link to your friends and family or post it on your Facebook page to show them what a proud member of the Sugar Ed School you are, you can certainly do that. As well here, you can access your message center, go back and edit your profile, edit your photos, edit your tutorials, edit your recipes. We try to make it as convenient as possible to give you a lot of ways to get to your profile functions. So let's go back to my account. And the next thing in the drop-down menu is the Message Center. 
This is your private message center, which you can get to here, again, via the drop-down menu, but you'll also see an alert right above the My Account link next to your profile photo if you have a new message anytime that you log on to the, to the website. So you can click on that and it will take you to your message center inbox. The unread messages are always going to be in bold and if you click on that link it'll take you to the message which you can read. And then over here are the actions that you can take. You can either reply, you can forward it, you can put this message in your save box or you can delete it. So we're just going to type a quick reply of thanks and click send and it'll take you back to your inbox. And you can also check over here your sent box. It'll show you all the messages that you sent. You can go here and see all the messages that you saved. And you can also have a list here of all the messages that you've deleted. So once you've deleted messages from your inbox, they move out of your inbox, but they're not permanently deleted until you click this delete all button up top here. Then the messages will be permanently deleted and you won't be able to retrieve them after that. If you want to compose a new message, just click on compose, put the member username there, whoever you want to send to. We'll send a subject to Paula and we'll say, hi Paula. And again, I don't type well, so I'm a little slow. And we'll just send her a nice little note and tell her her cakes are great. And so now we've sent the message. And when Paula responds, we're going to get another alert up here at top. Next, let's click on My Photos, and that'll take you to your photo editing page. Here you can upload and manage your photo library. You can upload photos for three different purposes, either for your profile picture, the public gallery, or for the billboard photo on your public profile page. We're going to start by clicking Select File, this button under Photo Upload, which will take you to your computer and you go ahead and find the file wherever it might be located. Just go ahead and double click on the photo that you want to upload. It's going to load up and then take you to this page, which is going to ask you how do you want to crop the photo. It's basically asking you what do you want to use this photo for. Are you going to use it for your profile picture? If so, leave the black dot in that circle. Or you can choose to use it for photo gallery or choose it for the billboard. And right now I'm going to change my profile picture, so we'll make sure that that's chosen. Click Next, and then you'll see that the photo uploads with the cropping tool. So just drag the cropping tool however you want your profile picture to be displayed. Then click Crop This Image. It'll then take you to a preview of that and show you what the cropped image is going to look like. If you're happy with that, you can click Save Image. Or if you don't like the way that is, just scroll down a little further and you can recrop it. And you can keep doing that as many times until you're happy with the crop of the photo. So here I'm going to recrop it, crop this image. It now gives me the preview. I'm now happy with that preview. I'm going to click Save Image. It'll save it and you'll now see that your profile picture has been changed and it'll be changed here and anywhere on the website that your profile picture appears. Now let's load one up to the photo gallery. We're going to go ahead and select another cake. This time we'll choose photo gallery and next. We need to select a category. This one's a special occasion cake. You can type your description and then keywords which is basically the terms you want associated with this photo so that it will show up in a search result when these words are put into the search box. So we'll call it a wrap. We'll also put flowers since there's a fantasy flower. You can add as many search terms as you want. Just be sure to put a comma in between each. You can also rotate the photos left to right. Sometimes when you upload from a mobile device, a photo will load up sideways. So here you can rotate it left or right. And then you'll want to click Save Image. It'll then be saved, and if you click on Gallery Most Recent, you'll then see that it is now the most recent photo loaded to the gallery. Now let's do one for the billboard. We're going to go ahead and select a photo. This time, click Billboard and Next. And again, you're going to need to crop it. And 
wide but narrow rectangle of photos work best for the billboard so you may need to resize that before you upload it but go ahead and choose the area that you want to display click crop this image it'll show you the preview and then once you click save it will be saved and if you want to see what it looks like go click on view my profile and you see that now I have a new billboard photo on my public profile page let's go back to my photos so it can show you how to edit the photos that you've already uploaded you'll see in chronological order all the recent photos that you've uploaded and you can edit them with the little icons underneath each box we'll just scroll up here to the top to make it easier you'll see the little wrench that's the edit icon and if you click on that it'll take you back to the editing page you can change the category that it's in you can change your description change your keywords you can rotate the photo make any changes that you like and then click save image and those images will be saved if you want to delete that photo click on the red X and a pop-up is going to ask you are you sure you want to delete this before you do it and you can click OK or if that was a mistake click cancel and your photo will stay we're going to skip that arrow for just a second if you go to the little person you can click on that and make that particular photo your profile picture so I can now change my profile picture to this strawberry I'll crop it crop this image it's going to show me the preview if I'm happy with that click save this image and it's now become my profile photo and also with these green buttons you can move the placement of your photos in your library up or down so this metallic cake if I want to move it down I'll click it down it now moved that photo one step further down in the lineup so you can do that if you have favorite photos that you would rather have at the top of your page for people to see first when they come and click on your photos so you can move things around that way and at any time if you want to see what that photo looks like in the gallery you can just click on that thumbnail and it will show you what that particular photo looks like displayed in the gallery so that's how you manage your photos now let's go to my tutorials you can upload your own photo tutorials into the member tutorial section of the website so here you'll see the tutorial uploader you will put in the title of your tutorial we'll just call this baby cake you will need to pick a category and we'll choose cakes for this and then the uploader is going to give you a box for each photo and the text that goes underneath it so go ahead and choose your first file from your computer and then put the text that goes with that photo in the box underneath so we will call this bake and cool your cakes and then go ahead and upload your second photo put the text underneath and we'll call this arrange into buggy of course you can make your text as detailed as you want I'm just using one sentence here for each just to speed the process along number three we'll call that crumb coat the cake photo number four and we'll just call this decorate the cake I'm just expediting this along here and make it go a little bit faster and you can do this with up to 15 photos so just continue to upload your photos with the text underneath go ahead and put your search terms underneath you'll want to do baby you can put carriage you can put buggy and that'll help this show up when those search terms are put into the search box when you're ready go ahead and click save it's going to take a second for the photos to upload and then you will see your tutorial in the uploader you also have a list of your tutorials on the right hand side so at any time you can go in and click the wrench and you could edit that particular tutorial or if you want to delete it you can click the X and again it'll ask you are you sure do you want to delete it and to see the tutorial go up to member tutorials most recent 
and the most recent one that you just posted is now going to be displayed on the left hand side and then all previous member tutorials by other members are going to show in the scroll box on the right. Let's go back into my account and it's a similar process to add recipes. We certainly encourage and enjoy when you upload your recipes to the site. So we can put the title in, pick a category, this is pie. If you want to upload a photo with it, you can choose an image. I don't really have an apple pie image, so we'll just use this roll here for um, example. And then you will go ahead and put in your ingredients. You'll see one box for the first ingredient, and we'll just say um, two cups flour. We'll just make it up. Then you're going to want to click on add another ingredient, add another ingredient. And you can do this as many times as you need until you get all of your ingredients listed. And then go ahead and type in your first paragraph of directions. I'm going to fix that spelling error. And then your second paragraph, and these can be, again, as long as you wish. I'm just doing this short and sweet to make it go fast. And you can just continue to do that through four paragraphs. And you can also add some notes at the bottom if you want. Put your search terms in. We will call it pie, apple, crust, any other search terms you want, and click save. And again, you will now see it in your uploader and it will be in your list of recipes that you have uploaded on the right hand side. I have a very long list because I've already added 99 recipes to the website. But here you will see your list that you've uploaded. And again, you can edit them at any time and you can also delete at any time if you wish. If you want to go see your recipe, click on recipes most recent and yours will be on the left hand side of the page and all other recipes will then be on the right hand side and your recipe will also show up in the index under that category so if we go to pies and these are listed in alphabetical order and we scroll down here we'll see the apple pie that I just loaded if you click on that it'll give you the main recipe on the left hand side all the other recipes in that category again on the right hand side so let's go back into my account and we'll now view my favorites. I've mentioned this several times that you have a favorites file. Let's click on that. And this will display for you everything that you have favorited by using that dark pink bar under every item of content that I showed you earlier. When you click that favorite button, it puts a thumbnail and a bookmark to that in your favorites file here in your account profile. So you'll see all the things here that I've favorited. And it lists them by category, videos, photo tutorials, recipes, articles. So if you have certain things that you really like that you want to get to quickly and you don't want to have to search for them, put them in your favorite files and then you can come back and browse this and find your favorite things really quickly. And when you click on the thumbnail or on the title, it'll take you to the main page of that particular item that you had favorited. Let's go back to my account, but this time we'll get there from the drop down menu because it's closer. This will take you to your My Account page, and I just want to show you what's on the right hand side here under Account Overview. You have your basic member details, the status of your membership. We're going to skip My Content for one second. It also shows you your payment history, and if you are subscribed to my newsletter, which I send out one to two times a week every time we add new content to the website. Now here you'll see my content. This shows you what you have actually uploaded to the website. Now your profile, which we showed a little bit earlier, you can edit that, which is your biography information and all your different links. When that's 100% complete, you will earn 22 points towards the point system, which I'm going to explain in just a second. It'll also show you whether you have any new private messages and you can get there from here to view your message center. It'll also show you a tally of how many photos, tutorials, and recipes you've uploaded and what your current point tally is. And you earn points by completing your profile, which gives you 22 points, 
and you also get a point every time you upload a photo tutorial or a recipe. And these are accrued and go towards the awards badges which I mentioned earlier. And each time you hit a new level, you will get automatically one of these award badges that shows up under your profile picture when you post in the forums. Now let's just go quickly look at the search function. You'll see on any tutorial page a box in the upper right hand corner where you can search for all the tutorials under that particular type of tutorial. So when you're in video tutorials the search box will type videos. When you're in photo tutorials it's going to search photo tutorials etc etc for recipes and articles. So you just type in whatever your search word is going to be and it's going to give you a list of everything that shows up under that search result and the search term will be highlighted in yellow. Let's go do it on a video page. Again, we'll put um, cake, see what we come up with. We're probably going to come up with a lot. And it'll give you a thumbnail display of all the search results with that highlighted. And then you can just click through and see that individual item. I also wanted to mention that anytime on the website that you see another member's username or their profile picture, you can click on that and it will take you to their public profile page. So for instance here, we have Paula's photo and we have her name. We can click on either one of those and it's going to take us to her public profile page where you can see her bio, her links to her websites. You can also view all of her recipes that she's uploaded. You can view her tutorials that she's uploaded. You could view just her particular photo gallery. And also, if you wish, you can send her a private message. It'll take you to your message center with Paula's name already in the to, to box. And you can just go ahead and click in your subject and body and send that other member a private message. So by going to their public profile page, you can get to know the other members a little bit more as well as interact with them. And so that just about wraps it up and concludes this tutorial on how to use all of the member functions in the Sugar Ed Production Sugar Art School. I personally thank you for being a member. I hope you enjoy your membership and I'd love to hear from you via comments in the forums or message me or send an email to support at sugaredproductions.com. Anytime you need anything, we are here to help you in any way we possibly can. Thank you again.